Hey, how's it going? Let's see what's in the news today. 5G is on its way to Australia. It's basically the next generation of super fast internet. For example, I'd be able to download, say, Beyonce's entire discography in about two minutes, which may have been what I was doing before. But there are some worries about the new tech and that Aussie data plans won't be able to keep up. Ladies, gentlemen and everybody in between, introducing the fifth generation cellular network technology. Uh, but you can just call it 5G for short. 5G is going to start popping up at the top of mobile phones and other devices. It started rolling out in countries like the UK and in some areas in Australia. It'll mean a faster, better, stronger mobile network. So impressive, it'll be able to control driverless cars too. Cool. It'll also allow you to download games, movies, music and anything really in just seconds. Again, cool. It's set to change the way we use our devices. But some experts are worried there could be a few problems, like Aussie data plans not being able to keep up with the changes 5G will bring, including quicker downloads, high-res streaming and bigger websites. Also, a team of scientists in the US reckon the new network could interfere with satellites, which could impact the weather. Well, not the actual weather, but how we record and predict it. 5G is still a little way off, but it's certainly got a lot of people talking, FaceTiming, tweeting, vlogging, blogging, posting, uh, you get the point. You may be rugging up for winter right now, but over in Europe, people and animals are doing whatever they can to deal with a heat wave. While heat waves in Europe can sometimes mean partly sunny and 25 degrees, they actually have something to sweat about this time, with cities like Madrid hitting more than 40 degrees. Some other cities, like Paris, have had to close schools. And zoos have been feeding animals icy treats and splashing them down with a hose. Avengers Endgame is now the highest earning film of all time at the box office. Well, sort of. It's made about 3.93 billion so far, which is more than the previous record holder, 2009's Avatar. That's if you're ignoring the little bit of extra cash Avatar made when it was re-released in cinemas. So guess what Avengers is now just about to do? Re-release. They're even including a deleted scene, intro from the director and a free poster to sweeten the deal. Touché Avengers, touché. Rubbish and poo are probably not the words that spring to mind when someone says Mount Everest. Yeah, it turns out climbers tend to leave behind a big mess and that's causing some big problems. Climb Mount Everest, they say. It's the world's tallest mountain, they say. Well, to all that, I say rubbish is a big problem that a lot of climbers don't think about on their trek. Climbers need things like tents, food and oxygen tanks for the journey. But often they're so exhausted, they can't be bothered carrying their rubbish back. This month alone, 11,000 kilos of rubbish has been collected. That's about seven cars worth. There's also around 8,000 kilos of human waste, about five cars. And that's just from climbers this year. And when the poopy snow melts, it trickles down into the drinking water of lower camps and communities below the mountain. Super gross. So what can be done? Some reckon Nepal's government should make biodegradable bags for doing your business compulsory. And they should make climbers register their gear and pay a deposit of thousands of dollars that they'll only get back if they return with all their stuff. They hope this will make life better for the people climbing and living near this amazing place. You know how we told you earlier about 5G? Well, our next segment is all about 3G. Grannies, goats and gigantic dinos. Meet the dancing, singing, rapping grandmas of Osaka. These Japanese pop stars are all in their 60s and 70s. Their hometown's hosting world leaders for a big meeting called the G20 Summit. So they decided to release a new track promoting their quirky city called Oberfunk Osaka. The city in the this one also proves hip hop is for everyone, even animals. I'm gonna take my 
A police officer in Alabama in the US was called to pick up an escaped goat and decided to sing his own version of the hit song Old Town Road. And meet Big Kev, a beloved brontosaurus in Palmerston, Darwin. He's lived on the highway for more than 10 years, but he's being taken down to make way for a new business. Authorities say he won't face extinction as long as someone can take him in. And that's got quite a few locals offering up their backyards. Have you subscribed to our channel yet? Well, you really should because otherwise you'll miss out on all of the other awesome videos just like this one. You can also hit that bell button if you want some notifications. And while you're at it, let us know below, are you keen on 5G or are you a little bit worried about how it's gonna go down?